All right, the compare done is a one of my favorite patterns to tie. It's a it's one that's been around for a while and uh, works very well in a lot of situations. For all you still water guys, this is a must-have pattern. And uh, so we're going to start off with an Allen D one hundred two BL. It's a wider gap dry fly hook. I like to tie with this one for a lot of my dries. And then I've got on here some A dot Montana Fly Company thread, and this is a gray color. I actually really like this Montana Fly Thread. I've been tying with it for a little while. Uh, it's great because it's good. It's a good combination of that lays flat and it also uh, has some bite to it. it. It can get the ropey effect. So um, I just laid down a body and because I like to get some taper I'm going to work my way back up to where I'm going to tie in my wing. And I want to work to about uh, just a little bit beyond a three-quarter of the body point, so up where my thorax is going to be is where I'm going to tie in my wing. And the wing's going to consist of some Comparadun hair. This is hair from Nature Spirit. Uh, this is good stuff. One of the things, if you look on our website, you can see how to pick deer hair, but as you can see here, the tips are all very uh, uniform and even, and they don't have a whole lot of the black, wispy tips. So... This is a dyed dun color. Now your compare duns are going to vary in color, but this is going to be more of a grayish uh, color, kind of a uh, speckled gray. And so we'll clip that off and stack it. So to stack, we're just going to tip, put these tip first. This little brass stacker. All right, now before we do that, I'm going to grab some teal flank. You can also use mallard flank or wood duck. This is going to give us the speckled part of our wing. And I'm going to tie this in first. Measuring off the length of the body. I'm going to do a pinch wrap here. Straight down on top. Work my way back. Put that at a taper. I'm going to do the same thing with the hair. Notice that when I pull this out of the hair stacker, pull that out at an angle, and all the tips will align, and they're going to be facing this way because that's the way I'll tie them in. It's a lot better to have to do it do it this way than to have to spin those around. Okay, now I've got those here at about Again, the same length. And we're just going to do a pinch wrap for these as well. Pinch that tightly. And then we're going to pull down one. And the second. And then keeping a hold of this with my left hand, I'm going to move my way back and bind down those tag ends for little ways. Like so. And I'm going to come back in here and again with a taper cut. I don't want to cut it flat or straight up and down. I want to angle that cut. And that will allow me to build up the taper on the body with my thread. Clean that up a bit. Now don't worry that this is kind of messy here because we're going to fix that here in a second. But I want to keep these out of the way so we'll just preen these forward and then I'm going to work my way back and clean up this taper area. The most important thing is I want this tapered and I also need enough room here in the front to get my dubbing dam built up. And this is some gray sparkle emerger yarn from our website. You don't need that much, maybe a dozen or so fibers, and I like to butt it up against where I ended the taper there, so that that will essentially just continue that taper on down to the bend of the hook. And then I like to pull that up and give it a couple wraps right in front. 
So now I'm just going to grab that and cut it to length just a little bit less than the body length. And you don't need a lot. Just enough because again that's going to represent the shock as it's coming out of its uh, exoskeleton. Okay for the body on this we're going to use some turkey biot. So here's the section I've been drawing from. And once I stripped the biot I also like to trim if there's any webbiness on this one side because this is going to end up getting in my way as I get closer to the wing. And as is the norm when you're tying in the biots, if I want a ridge or a segmented body, ridge up, the notch is going to go down or that webby side goes down. And I tie that in so that my body will, again, taper up. We're going to go into the thorax and then flip that biot over. I'm going to hold it with my finger, grab my hackle pliers, and then I'm just going to wrap this, creating a nice uniform segmented body. Now I'm just going to go right up to that thorax and this is where we'll put some dubbing in. So I will tie this off. You want to make sure you get that tight because these biots are very slick and your thread can actually slip. Then we're going to make sure that's tight and come in here and clip this off. Really close. That's some stiff stuff. You don't want to leave any of that up. And now for the last little step, we're just going to grab some dubbing and apply a little bit behind the wing and a little bit in front. For the dubbing, I'm going to use this UV ice dubbing and it's in a grayish color. So really, I only need one wrap there. Now we're going to take this whole wing, pull it back. I want to make sure I've got the dubbing tight. Because this is what will help keep our wing propped. And just a couple wraps there in front. And then keep that preened back so that we can tie off a nice clean head. As long as I've kept that out of the way, I should be able to whip finish here. Now these ice dubbing fibers are a little bit all over the place, so we'll just go ahead and trim these up. Okay, then as a final step, I like to just make sure that the wing is fanned out enough. That's what will give it its flotation. And the nice thing is that because that fans out, they can represent legs. See so, you know, the profile there. And then we'll just make sure that wing's going to stay back at the right angle. And there it is. That's our Calabatus Biot Body Comparedon.